let's discuss number system so in number system or in embedded systems we use uh, mainly three types of number systems or representations one is the decimal binary and hexadecimal decimal numbers are the numbers that we use in daily life and they have a base of 10 and they have digits from 0 to 9 so the number 0 to 9 and then it repeats 1 0 becomes 10 1 1 becomes 11 it goes on and on but all the digits are from 0 to 9 similarly for binary we have a base of 2 and the digits are from 0 to 1 only 0 and 1 so a base of 10 means the digits will be from 0 to 9 1 less than the base starting from 0 for base 2 starting from 0 1 less than 2 which is 1 similarly for hexadecimal we have a base of 16 and the digits are from 0 to 9 and then 10 becomes a or a 11 becomes b or in lower case b similarly we have 12 13 14 and it can go only up to 15 so this becomes c b e f c d e and f so there are total 16 digits here starting from 0 all the 0 to 9 and then up to 15 let's see how we convert these numbers from one to another what we do is let's take an example of decimal to binary decimal to binary in decimal to binary what we have to do is we have to take a decimal number and convert it to its binary form let's see how to do it let's take an example of 5 so what we do is when we convert from this number to this we divide this number with the base of this so we divide the decimal number by the base of binary the base of binary is 2 so we take 5 and we divide it by 2 2 into 2 is 4 so we have a remainder of 1 then we divide it again 2 the rem 2 1 times is 2 and the remainder is 0 and then we go all the way back so our binary form is 1 0 1 1 0 1 this is the least significant bit you will understand this uh, just a moment later when we discuss the weightage of these numbers similarly let's say we want to uh, convert 15 to binary so we'll do the same process 15 we keep on dividing until it is no further divisible we divide it by 2 7 times give us 14 and the remainder is 1 we divide it once again 3 the remainder is 1 2 1 times and the remainder is 1 so the binary of 15 is 1 1 1 1 and the way to represent a binary number in C is using the prefix 0b so if I write 0b 1 1 1 1 this is same as writing 15 so I can write a equals to 15 or I can write a equals to 0b 1 1 1 1 both are the same thing is just different representation now let's see how to convert binary to decimal to convert to binary to decimal we use the reverse process in this case where we had done decimal to binary we had done a division now we'll do the reverse of this so what we'll do we'll take the weightage of each of these numbers so this number was obtained by dividing two ones so we'll take the weightage only once this one will come two times three times four times and so on so let's see that in this example we had taken an example of 15 15 gives us 1111 so let's take 1111 and see if it gives us 15 so each of these numbers has a weight 
and since this is a binary number the weightage is in powers of 2 so we have 1 1 1 1 the lowest number has a, a weightage of 2 to the power 0 this one has a weightage of 2 to the power 1 2 raised to the power 2 and 2 raised to the power 4 so what we'll do now is the decimal value is 1 into 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 4 plus so we can write this multiplied by this and the addition of all of these values so we have 1 raised to the power multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4 and then 1 into sorry this will be 3 we go in ascending order 0 1 2 3 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to the power 0 this gives us 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 it gives us 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 similarly I told you that the binary of 5 is 101 let's convert this 101 to decimal and see if we get 5 so we have 1 0 1 the weightage is 2 raised to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 so we have 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0 that is equals to 4 plus 0 plus 1 equals to 5 so in this way any number any decimal uh, sorry any binary number can be converted to decimal using the weightage so an easy way instead of doing all this is we just remember this sequence that is starting with 1 2 raised to the power 0 is 1 2 raised to power 1 is 2 2 raised to power 2 is 4 and then it keeps going on in multiples of 2 8 16 32 64 128 and all the decimal values that we have starting from the lowest significant bit the smallest one that is the towards the rightmost side we start placing them here 1 1 1 1 and then we add these numbers wherever there is 1 we add them so 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is what we had got here similarly for 101 1, we can have 1 0 1 so wherever there is 1 we add only those numbers we take 4 and we take 1 which is what we had got here and it gives us 5.